Well, one might wonder how a tremendous tool for indoctrination that operates in myriad and subtle ways and will be carried with us for the rest of our lives can be only music. But leaving that alone, these types of observations by both musicians and people who work in and around the industry leave little doubt as to music's incredible power over its audience. Virtuoso guitarist Eddie Van Halen rightly observed, music really is the universal language. It really does have the power to heal. We've had people who hallucinated. We've had people become violent for no apparent reason and not understand why. Music is very powerful and it doesn't have to be a recognizable form. The power in and of itself of any sound is enough, which release specific chemicals in the brain and body in order to alter the state of consciousness. Renowned musicologist David Tame agrees. Music is the language of languages, he wrote in The Secret Power of Music. It can be said that of all the arts, there is none that more powerfully moves and changes the consciousness. Tori Amos echoed this observation when she stated, Music is the most powerful medium in the world because of the frequencies. You're hitting places and people that remind them that they're more than just this functional being. The artist, once again known as Prince, gave his perspective on the power of these frequencies when he told an interviewer, the other night I went to a club and I watched the DJ control the entire room. Even politicians can't do that. Incredibly, given his own history of X-rated songs, he went on to reflect on the power of lyrics. I watched the DJ reach for the new album by B.I.G. and put it on, and the crowd went crazy. I asked him, do you know what he's saying in those lyrics? He said he didn't know. Then he tried to tell me he wasn't playing it for the lyrics, that for him it's all about the beat. But it's affecting people. Everything we put out there is affecting people. The message matters, my brother. Weighing her own influence as a musician against that of being an actor, Courtney Love admitted that there was a more bourgeois respectability to acting, but Meryl Streep doesn't know the sublime pleasure of standing in front of 10,000 people and making them do whatever you want. Superstar Jimi Hendrix noted another, perhaps more sobering aspect of this power. After describing how central music was to his life, to the point of functioning as a type of electronic church, he went on to tell Life magazine, you hypnotize people to where they go right back to their natural state. And when you get people at their weakest point, you can preach into their subconscious what we want to say. This power over the subconscious is precisely what science writer and composer Robert Jourdain was getting at when he said in his book, Music, the Brain and Ecstasy, Music seems to be the most immediate of all the arts. Music possesses us. It really is as if some other has entered not just our bodies, but our intentions taking us over. There's probably no contemporary artist who's made a greater study of music's awesome power over the human soul than percussionist Mickey Hart. Drummer with the Grateful Dead, world music devotee, and self-taught musicologist, Hart has spent his life attempting to unravel the mystery that is music. From his testimony before the United States Senate, co-founding the Rhythm for Life Foundation, researching and authoring several books on the subject, including his late 1999 release, Spirit into Sound, The Magic of Music, a book that is a virtual apologetic for music's incredible, even supernatural power. To countless live concert experiences around the world, Hart's belief in the power of music borders on the religious. Describing, for example, the Dead's official archivist, Dick Latvala's devotion to their music, Hart said, 
In those moments when he was listening, he was communing with God. Several years ago, Hart sent out a request for anecdotal information on music and its power through the vast electronic underground of Deadheads. His letter began, Dear friend, I've discovered, along with many others, the extraordinary power of music, particularly percussion, to influence the human mind and body. Among the thousands of examples Hart has compiled is his own striking observation of the effects evoked by some music he heard many years ago. It was my first exposure to the mother rhythms from West Africa that later mutated into my tradition, becoming rock and roll. All I knew then was that whenever I played this music at parties, the room would transform. It was as though the rhythm of the drum was calling up something from these sleek cosmopolitan bodies that had been asleep. There was a power there I couldn't ignore. Hart is far from alone in these types of empirical observations. Doctors and professional musicologists have also studied this power to transform, creating a whole new branch of medicine called music therapy. And as music therapist Gene Maas has stated, music is the greatest power I have ever experienced. I doubt if anything else equals its power to act upon the human organism. The organized patterning of music uh, can help drive electrical uh, networks within the brain and can help the organization and reorganization of brain networks. MTV, aggressively reorganizing your brain. Nothing could be more natural. This ability to organize and reorganize brain networks was given powerful expression by Richard Pellegrino, a medical doctor and consultant to the entertainment industry. In an article in Billboard magazine, Dr. Pellegrino discussed the powerful way music interacts, often subconsciously, with receptors in the brain to produce endorphin highs, to trigger a flood of emotions and images that have the ability to instantaneously produce very powerful changes in emotional states. He closes his commentary with the observation, take it from a brain guy. In 25 years of working with a brain, I still cannot affect a person's state of mind the way that one simple song can. And in over 30 years of writing about the simple songs to which most of those brains listen, Rolling Stone magazine agreed. A song or an album, they said, can change your life. A great concert will change it on the spot. And when they're honest, the fans agree. The music itself just gave you this feeling that you couldn't forget. It just, it was like embedded inside of you. And even if you didn't know what the lyrics were, the music transported you into that realm that, that Kurt Cobain wanted you to be in. Much in the way Manson courts controversy, his fans began to follow suit, or er, dress. Years ago, Marilyn got in trouble for bringing his Kiss lunchbox to school. A generation later, the stiletto heel was on the other foot as kids were getting busted for emulating Mr. Manson. You're my inspiration. Do you want to know why? Why? There's a lot of reasons. You've inspired me to do so many things. Like, I think about you every day, and I listen to your music every day, and you keep me going. I, they, they have totally changed my life. They are gods. I love corn. And they take it quite seriously. I look into the faces of our fans, and I see that they've been touched by the Dark Carnival. Basically, to them, there's nothing fantasy about it. It's like, it's what they're into. I mean, it really is a real existence to them. Their music is like a background to my life. Like, everything that happens to me now, it's like, it's like my own little soundtrack. And I just want to, like, be able to hang out with them and say that I hang out with, like, the people that, like, have influenced my life. Music is an extension of yourself. And it's like when people accept it, they're accepting you. You know, multitudes of people just, just vibing off your stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just heads bobbing. To me, it's like a drug. It's like euphoria. As soon as you turn on that beat, I'm in a different world. You know what I'm saying? Well, a renowned musicologist certainly knew exactly what he was saying when he observed music really is a powerful drug. It can poison you, lift your spirits, or make you sick without knowing why. Well, in a moment, we'll try to understand why. Just how it is music can exert, for good or evil, this type of influence over us.